What is the devil? Why do we have so many cartoons where we see the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other, Good Viber? Like, let's dive into that, okay? So today, your girl Esther Joy is coming at you with another video. On this channel, we like to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. You already know this, Good Viber. And if you want to join the family and spread these vibrations to the breeze, the trees, my knees, the bees, all of those good things, then you can hit subscribe to officially join the family. But without further ado, fam, we are going to be looking at um, the necessary evil that we see in life. And I wanted to say that I was, you know, asking God, I was like, what should I make a video about? And, um, pulled out the random word generator, asked for four, four words. I got violation, legislation, crime, and captain. This is really interesting and makes me think a lot about what the devil's relationship with God really is, okay? Now, I feel like we think that these are two separate beings entirely that are, in fact, opposite of one another, when in reality, they actually work for the greater good together. And what do I mean by that? Well, good viber, you already know that we kind of need the negative to balance the positive. We need these polarizing energies for a harmony to be present. So, uh, the same applies to when we look at a devil or an angel or, you know, Satan or a god. We see these two polarizing entities, if you will, that come with different intentions that are about the opposite of each other. So we see that God wants to make your life simple and to share their unconditional love for creating you and all of that beautiful jazz, really allowing you to embody the glory and power of being created during this time and embodying what God has given you. Now on the other side, we see with the devil, we see that it's more, uh, to hell with all of that it, it literally uh it is definitely a lot more of how can i it's more of the external things tempting you but you know that this is more of an internal battle like you have the power to make this decision and i'm saying this in such a way that i really want to address that the devil I do not see it something as bad and that is why I'm making this video to kind of address a lot of the energy. Everyone wants to avoid the devil and of course that is good. You shouldn't tread too near with them but you should be aware of their ways. Why? So that you are not taken into or deceived without realizing what you are doing. So this is kind of just to address that. I'm not telling you to make friends with the devil, but we all have angels and demons on our shoulders. And God is the one that has created us and the angels and the demons. <sighs> now, if I were to take this in a, another realm of perspective, we could just look at ourselves and our dualistic nature of good and bad. Service to self versus service to others. Now, there is this understanding that a lot of the time service to others is service to self or service to self is service to others. For example, a medic has to make sure that they are in tip top health and best condition and they don't, don't give their medical supplies to others in case they need it for their own personal emergencies. Okay, they have another pack on them, but they have to serve themselves first so that they can serve others so it's a bit paradoxical in its nature but that is the whole nature of what we perceive as evil or negative or satan we perceive this being as something else that is disconnected from source in one way and in a way it is supposed to be disconnected because it's supposed to be 
the polarizing part of creation and how things keep balance. This is checks and balances. You have the choice with both angels on your shoulder to say what you will, to decide what you will, to discern what you will. And then when you make that choice, then you will meet whoever it was you listened to, if that makes sense, okay? If you listen to the bad, evil thoughts, you're going to meet the bad, evil entity that is behind it, okay? So, um, this is just a part of reality. I don't think that evil is something that should be scared about or feared or looked at as bad, per se, okay? There are things that we know are good and bad, and we preferably choose the good over the bad most of the times, but the evil is necessary so that we know what direction we're going in, very much like a moral compass, so that like when we perceive pain and we feel pain, it is not pleasant, but it alerts us that there is something that needs your immediate attention within your body and if you want to stop the pain then you're going to have to address that pain and where it's coming from so i hope that makes sense in the terms of how we look at pain and we do not see pain as something necessarily evil the idea of evil stuff in general the idea of, yes, let's just call it evil, darkness, crime, violations of the divine contractor plan is actually still a part of the plan. If that makes sense, it's an option. Is it an option that you have to go down? No, you can stay on the straight and narrow, but it is there to remind you of where the straight and narrow is, okay? So no one is perfect. We are all on our own path. Certain things that would be evil to others are actually good and on the straight and narrow path for uh, another person. So realizing that uh, as much as I want to say, yeah, there is a universal good and bad in a way, there's also so many different perspectives of what is considered good and what is considered bad. We know the truth deep within ourselves, and that is something that we can collectively agree upon. But being able to understand that one man's trash is another man's treasure, and sometimes even the good things that you think are pleasure or pressure and something that is a lot worse for another person, and that's just how the nature of reality is. That's okay. Again, this is all to help lead you to where your path is in the whole big scheme of things. I don't know where that is, fam, but I'm happy I was able to just share this video and, and share a couple, I guess, insights and talk about the nature of good and evil. Again, just acknowledging that you are both. And that is okay. That is very okay. That's good. or And bad, right? Being able to utilize these energies in a harmonious way, understanding where is that resistance coming from? And where is it smooth sailing? How can I utilize these energies in my life as they're presenting themselves? Again, being aware. How am I listening to those angels and devils you know those little beings on my shoulders who are whispering in my ears and telling me how am i using that how am i really seeing that i am in the middle these are my feedback sensors in a way and i'm pointing to my imaginary angel and devils right they are giving me feedback and in a way are my moral compass for me to see where that straight and narrow is. They're both serving a purpose. So even the bad, even the ones that we'd like to avoid and we dislike, they're serving a purpose in the higher good of all things. So being aware that, you know, you don't have to add extra resistance for these things that might be a little resistant to steer you in the right direction being aware of how you can really utilize your own 
angel and demon. Okay, I'm going on a little bit of a rant. So fam, you can press a thumbs up right now if you like this video. If you found value in it and you'd like more. Uh, if you want me to do more like this one. And, or better, or you ha have topics that you'd like to talk about in terms of theology, um, the nature of creation, just diving into all of that beautiful stuff, your own um, ideas. I love listening to your insight and just connecting with you. So, of course, feel free to leave a comment and, um, yeah, shout out to you, beautiful Good Vibber fam, for sticking to the end. I appreciate you. And, my friend, I will see you in the next video. Namaste and God bless. Be good now. <laughs>